A new school year is fast approaching as parents prepare to send their students back to school. Some are still wondering how schools are planning to secure students, especially after that tragic shooting at Robb Elementary School. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug is live in the Digital Center tonight. And Sierra, you were able to speak with some parents today. That's right, Eric. The tragic school shooting in Uvalde, Texas happened near the end of the academic year for most school districts. And now as we enter the middle of July, school security is still top of mind for many parents as they prepare to send their kids back into the care of their schools. I'm not sure if I'm ready to put my daughter back in school. Meredith Miller just moved to Central Virginia from San Antonio, Texas. School security weighing heavily on her mind and heart. Ubaldi's very close to home. We lost friends and family. One of her first steps here, planning to meet with school administrators to learn more about security plans for the new year. Nothing is changing. Nothing is different. Virginia lawmakers say 705 schools in Virginia don't have school resource officers, people specifically employed to protect students and teachers. New state laws do require all schools to have a designated point of contact in the community in case of emergency. But parents like Miller feel an in-school officer should be step one. We have to start at the schools. Other parents like Jenny Dougherty agree in-school protection is crucial. She suggests retired military personnel could be a realistic option. If you're well trained, and you know how to use a firearm. In the fall, Virginia schools are required to have threat assessment teams, a crisis management plan, an annual school security audit. But parents want more tangible measures. This whole like, well, just hug your kid extra hard before you drop her off at school is not really present for me. Parents note the importance of prevention, addressing mental health concerns, rather than reaction to crisis. If you're not looking at what's the, what is causing the problem, you're already behind the eight ball. We have cured polio. We have put men on the moon. Like surely this is something that we can put our efforts towards and figure it out. We have to, we cannot keep doing this business as usual and watching kids get shot. The first day of school is just a little over a month away for districts across the community like Richmond, Henrico, and Chesterfield counties. Parents tell me more than back to school shopping and classroom planning, school safety is the number one priority. Live in the Digital Center, Sierra Krug, 8 News.